Download the All-Star app. Make your picks for UFC fights, challenge your friends, level up and win prizes. Link in description. Get it now. Uh, let's start with the matchup, man. PFL 3. Bubba Jenkins, a guy that's been around for a long time. Um, he's been in Vegas for a long, Vegas for a long time. What is your... Uh, you know, what is your thoughts on the matchup and, and being face facing off against a guy that's been around for, for so long? Um, I like it. I feel like there's no better time for me personally, of uh, uh, athletically, career wise. Um, I keep I keep improving, so the, the matchup's gotta keep um getting tougher. So I feel like, you know, that's that's just the way it goes, but I think I'm ready for it. Um I like the style of matchup for many different reasons. It, you you beat a guy like this um, with a certain style. You answer a lot of questions for for the the public um, for your for myself. But I like the matchup in general. I like uh, the wrestler, the south, the open stance. Um, I love the open stance matchup. So and you, he, he's got a name. You know he's done he's done some things. He's competitive in the sport. I mean I I like the matchup. I really do like the matchup. Yeah, I believe he's the. He's the most experienced PFL fighter in in the division, mm-hmm. and you're jumping in against him. Which, uh, if you beat him, you prove a lot, right? Right. I mean, for the promotion, for Mar- for Bellator, for myself, um, yeah, I do. I, I it does. Did you ever train with him? You know, I know he he trains with um, with Dewey Cooper, but Dewey Cooper does cross to the extreme from time to time, right? I know. Yeah, I never did train with him though. That's that's surprising though. You know what I mean? There's so many guys in Vegas that that train together. Yeah. You know, and I know you help a lot of guys out, you know, during camps and stuff like that. So, um, but any run-ins with him? Like, you know him? Like, do you guys know each other? No, I don't know him. I don't know him. I I mean, obviously the guys that we train with, I tr- train with a lot of dominance guys. So, they kind of they they train between I mean, they probably train with both of us. Um but I never did train with him, um, and I'm I'm kind of like a home body too. I like I mean my extreme couture. That's I I do most of my stuff pretty much out of there. Like for, for MMA related, everything else. Um, I mean jujitsu. I might. Uh, I mean I go to hybrid jujitsu with Hanato Kanuto, um, and then like I mean I might go to the PI for certain workouts. You know that guys they want me to come to or I get invited to and I'm interested in but other than that um I try to stay at extreme as much as possible just because of that this reason you know luckily you know I you know yeah that you know Vegas is an interesting place man right it's a very 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 interesting place especially for somebody like me somebody like me I I grew up in Hawaii uh, most of my career, uh, my I was, I mean, I'm still young, but most of my career growing up in Hawaii, you don't run into this kind of like gym hopping. That's just not what we like. That I'm just not familiar with. It's normal, obviously, um, in the fight world, but I, I'm just not used to it. And um, so, I mean, that's why I kind of stay like I kind of stay within my own, my own, my own shit. And then you know, I like, I don't really venture. I mean, I do venture out, of course. But um, like, re- like, I I make sure like I'm I'm aware of what, like what I'm doing. Yeah, like you said, because of this reason, you have to kind of keep a, a smaller circle for your fight camps, right? When you go yeah. train, invited, you know, it's all good. Yeah, exactly. And then, you know, good. I mean, just good. You know, good good thing. I I haven't run into him. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, the only thing I ran into him is like when we we faced off in this last week in Chicago. How was that? How was it getting? Getting in there, going to Chicago and, and facing off in front of the city. Was good. I mean, good to like kind of, it, it was kind of close, I mean, close to the ending of the camp. Like three weeks out, we're doing that, but kind of helps like light, light a fire on the, on the the last three weeks. You know, you see seeing them face to face, kind of, kind of sizing each other up, both of us. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a good, good, good to finish off camp, kind of light, light a, end, light a spark at the end of the camp. And when you when you faced off with them, did you feel anything? Did you see anything? I did. I mean, for myself, but that's just that just could be me. Um, I'm sure. I'm sure he 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 could feel the same thing. Um, you know, he can say the same thing theoretically. But I mean, it was different different Bubba Jenkins than I've ever seen before. Like he he never 
it wasn't as uh, loud, I would say. I didn't see anything loud out of him the whole time we were there. Um, he didn't say a word to me um, the whole time. So, I mean, that, that was different, you know. Um, I don't know for what reason. Let's uh, let's rewind back a little bit, man, because, you know, you, you signed with Bellator. You're rising up the ranks, beating dudes, chasing, you know, the title, basically. And then... Mm -hmm this whole thing was going on between like Bellator is going to be sold to this person or that person. There was a lot of stuff up in the air. And then, uh, you know, the rumors come out, PFL is going to buy them. They buy them. Were you hoping to be in this PFL season or were you thinking like, man, I still want to chase that Bellator title? Um, I was just, I, I they couldn't really think about PFL too much because they still had their set of guys. Right. So, I mean, but at my, in to my understanding, I was a Bellator fighter, so, like, that's the easiest thing to chase. I mean, as you know, I was chasing a James Gallagher fight because we heard Belfast at 300. So, okay, how does every how do we get scheduled as soon as possible, you know? And, and, and it was real. It came to fruition, the whole event and whatnot. James Gallagher ends up fighting on it. He ends up getting matched with Jeremy, ironically, um, after I continuously was chasing it, but only because of... Only for um, scheduling reasons, I was chasing that fight. You know, I don't have anything uh, against James or whatever. Just Ireland boy, Belfast, that's the next, that's the real two. And that's, um, so, I mean, that's what I was chasing because, like, man, I want to get booked right away. And if that's the, like, conveniency-wise, that's who I got to call out. Okay, makes makes sense. He's still at 45. I just fought. Um, record whatever um he's got a name okay let's chase that and then as i was chasing it as i was chasing that bout um they're like oh he's matched and i was like, okay with who um they didn't they didn't have a name yet jeremy was matched with enrique barzola so i was like who, who's he matched with they didn't say then somehow barzola didn't happen or whatever and then jeremy gets matched up with gallagher then I was like, ah, whatever. That's my boy. So let him let him take the fight. And they oh, they want you in PFL tournament. I was like, okay, cool, whatever. Um, just l lock in on that. Um, that's how that's the way. That's how everything came about. Like, hey, whatever. Yep, yeah, cool. Um, if that's what I gotta do, is if then boom. So that's that's how that that's how that happened. And I find out about the Bubba Jenkins fight like maybe late January, um, late January, maybe even mid January. Um. So I kind of made that switch real quick because then, they, okay, then they want you in PFL tournament. Okay, when? What's the date? Whatever. Trying to get on it. And then one one call I had was like, oh, they might be, it might be Bubba. I'm like, okay, cool. There's a guy too. They have a guy in mind. So I'm like, okay, I'll just turn my head that way. Nice, man. Nice. And, you know, you mentioned mid-January you found out about the fight coming up. But you've probably been training and been part of camps. I've seen you, you know, Jeremy was getting ready, obviously. And uh, I've seen you in there with, like, Aljamain Sterling and a bunch of other guys. So the training has never, like, dwindled down for you, right, um, since your last fight? Right. Yeah. Um, I was, so I was helping Dan get ready for Murphy um, because the, they were looking for, you know, I mean, obviously Dan's in the same training room, so we um, – somebody athletic kind of switch stance give them different looks and i was that guy so it was kind, of, kind of was kind of was giving me something to do get look forward to i was i cornered dan and um, so i was kind of and then i found out about my fight so i was kind of like getting putting myself back in shape putting in the rounds and turning flipping a switch and then i red eyed out to um hawaii to get ready to help um, my cousin ray the last few weeks for Saudi Arabia, went to Saudi Arabia, cornered, um, and then came back, got into camp. I mean, I'm still in camp, training hard, then helping helping Jeremy. So, I mean, it was good mental breaks because I was in camp for a long time and just got, like, kind of got to unplug for, like, um, from my own camp. And it kind of helped me not get bored or not get run down during a training camp. Yeah, definitely. It, I, I guess the travel helps you kind of just, like, lack a little bit for a day or two since you yeah. know most the of the time here in vegas yeah <laughs> yeah travel sucked but i mean it was good to um yeah just get like get out the monotony of like you know the, the your your weekly schedule and 
let the body rest for a whole week or I'm still training, working out. This just the scenery changes, the type of workouts change. But I was, yeah, I was training the whole time. Who who are the guys that are helping you, like, imi- you know, imitating Bubba Jenkins? Um, I mean, I've been getting rounds with Aljamain Sterling, um, uh, Cody Stamen. Cody's giving me a southpaw look. Um, this kid, Kobe Fair, another um, D2 wrestler that, you know, um, really, re- really good um, Jake Shields um, student. Uh, Patchy Mix, we've, we've been getting a bunch of rounds in. So, I mean, everybody. There's, I mean... A lot of a lot of um, a lot of good looks, and I mean I'm I'm giving these guys looks. They're giving me looks, and I mean I, I don't want them to change too much for for a specific guy. Um, I just like I just like a lot of looks in general, um, especially in in the heat of camp. Of course I want you know certain I want like that wrestling look, but I don't want to I don't want them to lose themselves. You know what I mean? Because then then I end up beating up a style that they're not even. I mean. That's not truly them. So I mean, if they can give me that look, give me that look. If they feel comfortable with it, um, as much as possible, but also don't lose themselves too, because I want to also get good work in. Oh uh, yeah. How does uh, featherweight Aljamain Sterling look? I feel like he's. He, I mean, he looks the same. He's probably just gonna have a um, easier weight cut. I mean, that's what I feel because he's always been strong. Like um, he's all yeah. He's always been. He's always been strong. Even when I was uh, I was the guy for the Yan camp. He was always uh shot like on, on in the wrestling. I mean, he his body type is so long, so like when he when he would like get me down, um, I would have to work up just because his limbs are long. You know, I can do with a lot of guys' strength, but his limbs are a little bit longer. For, and for his style, that's that that that's exactly what he needs. Yeah, yeah, it's I'm interested to see what he can do uh, against uh, Calvin Cater, man, because he jumps right into that top ten instantly, which yeah. is pretty insane. I mean, he his grappling is you know he's he's gonna com- be able to compete with anybody at any at, at you know for a lot of the weights, um, thirty five and forty five. It's just um, I mean I think we've been ha- ha- having hard time. Uh, I mean you're just gonna have hard time finding a guy like Calvin Cater. You know what I mean? It's like because he's kind of like tall for the weight class. He's got a really good jab. He's come um he's big bigger for the weight class and he's got a really good jab. I mean. I I have good boxing, but I'm not five eleven. You know what I mean. And then there's other guys that I mean he's using. It's just um, you don't really get that five eleven look um, at at um, one forty five. Yeah, it's it's very hard. There's not many people like that. Um, now back to you. You know, with with this tournament, with this season coming up. You know, I mean, you've seen other fighters go through it already from your team. Mm-hmm. Now you're gonna be able to go through it, which is. It's not the easiest thing, right? So, what is your perspective on on this long, grueling season? Um, I mean, I've been getting some pointers from like different guys. Obviously, Ray, um, Lance, Jeremy's competed in it. Um, so I've been kind of picking their brains, Sadabu, and how they how they approached it. Um, like uh, more so like the second and third fights, you know, because um, obviously the first one. You gotta, you, you just gotta take care of business and treat like, treat like a fight. Um, so I've been kind of like just um, getting little pointers on how they approached it um, right after their their fights and how they structure the beginning of their their next fight post, post once the season gets rolling. Um, so I mean, I, I I've been kind of yeah getting as much information as I can, but not really thinking about it too much just because. You gotta just you um you gotta take one fight at a time. Um, I feel I, that's what I feel, and then everything else would take care of itself. And for me, I just w- worried about. I mean, I'm just well, yeah. I, my only my only focus is getting the first win, um, mm-hmm. and everything else will take care of itself after that. You know, if um, I because once I get it, I stay healthy until this fight time, then I, you know, you just unload the clip. That's all you can do. You know, and and then because if you don't win. Then it's kind of you know I mean the loss weighs heavy on you in general. So um, I mean uh, uh, the season is gonna be tough. I you know and I've seen it. I've seen it done. I've seen it successful. I've seen it. I've seen successful, unsuccessful tournaments. So I mean I, it's gonna be tough. But um, I feel like everybody can get beat up. You know. So you do you gotta, feel like? It, do you feel like this is gonna be the toughest season? Like when you look back at the previous seasons. 
and look at the the names and now you look at the names I mean, of to, this up to me for for to to um to me personally i feel like um it's the most well-rounded season like the the, the roster that is on there is the most skilled like full full swing like i mean the whole roster on our way class is um the most skilled um from top to bottom you know like that's what that in in my opinion and you know i'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to ask you about the million dollar pretty much reward right or purse, million mm -hmm. dollar purse if you and you win the title and you're the champion and but i think it goes deeper than that for you because you have a large family you know what i mean that would really you know i know money changes people's lives but for you it extends further than you it's your whole family yeah yep um so i mean yeah i mean the, the money would be nice i think for me like what the money will do is uh be i can put more into my career put more into my fam like my family's daily life um and that and that's what i'm excited to do you know with a successful tournament is i can take care of my coaches better i can um my my home life going to look a little bit different my wife can be a little bit more comfortable around the house you know being in a different house um yeah we're just gonna be a little bit more comfortable um but living the same lifestyle because i i that's that's all i all i think about is mma so i mean i mean the, the money is nice but the money just indicates that um that the work is paying off that's really all it is for me and you know you've been through you've been through a lot in your career so far you're still pretty young you're 29 it's like are you in your prime or entering your prime we don't know right until we see you fight but man you could fight like three four seasons if you really wanted to it's back to back to back right right i mean yeah um and i feel like um i don't know if i i feel like it's evident that i feel like i'm getting younger i don't know it's because the mental part of like how i'm treating the treating training and like focusing on recovery as much as i am now but i feel like i am getting younger um i i'm learning more every day i'm like, i'm able to do things that Coach Eric, Coach Eddie, uh, Hanato in Jiu Jitsu are teaching me. I'm able to grasp it even, f like, pick up on it faster. You know, it doesn't take me as much reps to do. You know, I'm still doing the same amount, lots of reps, but, like, I can get it down faster to where, like, um, things are sticking faster. So, so the, the, the learning curve, you know, is, is a lot is a is a yeah a learning curve is a lot faster than what what it was before than i what i was um in the ufc literally in the ufc like at 24 25 years old i feel like i would crush that 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 self of of me um so i and it's it's getting more fun every day and i'm not just saying that because i'm doing an interview for an upcoming fight but i feel like the reason why i'm in this position matched up against this guy is because um they see it you know they they see the 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 level that i'm rising to the level of competition that is needed to be competitive for for me um i mean obviously i'm like i've raised up for sees me quite often so for him to to you know make this matchup he has to he has to in, for him to enjoy seeing that matchup lined up um for many reasons and this fight against Bubba Jenkins, man, Bubba, you know, of course, obviously he's a wrestler, you know what I mean? But he loves to strike. You kind of similar, you know what I mean? You're you're a grappler wrestler that loves to strike. Do you, you see any much grappling happening in this fight? I'm pretty sure if someone gets hurt, yeah, there will be some grappling. But I'm saying, do you see grappling just happening like, like as part of his game plan? Oh, 100%. I don't think he's going to, I mean, I, don't, I just don't think him, he's going to, uh, stand he's gonna want to stand me too long um just because i mean just because what like what i'm what i have like my skill set is gonna be hard for him to just feel like he's gonna be able to just be able to stand with me um just because the um, he i feel i won't be able to i won't be there for him to hit um i i, I just feel personally i just feel i won't be there for hit for him to hit to where the only way he can he could um, get a hold of me or try and stop me is grab me for a little bit. Man, I'm excited for this matchup, man. This is a this is a great opening fight for the for the season. 
April 19th, PFL 3, Chicago, Kai Kamaka, Jenkins, man, it's, it's, it's legit, man. I love it. And uh, Kai, man, all the best in this fight coming up. And, and, and I'm happy for you to be in this season, man. It, it infuses uh, some violence. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm excited for it. I'm excited for the matchup. Um, uh, I mean, I've been preparing for this type of matchup for a long time. You know, like this style. Um, I like the open. I like I like the open stance. Uh, I mean, I can make it close stance and and fight and fight southpaw as well. Um, I mean, I was preparing for Ahmed Magomedov not too long ago, right? And the mm. fight didn't happen until like five days out. So I mean. I was preparing for this type of specialist for a lot, like for years, because I got to right, like somebody in my skill set. That's what they think they gotta. They that's how they they stop it. So I mean, why do you think my main training partner is Jeremy Kennedy? You know, like um, if if I was a striker, um, you know, it, it tells a lot, right? Like who your main training partners are. Um, and that's and that's why I'm training with Jeremy because he can plug holes. You know, us teach us working with each other. We plug holes for, um, pl- yeah, and close those gaps. You know that we need to. And then from from different mindsets of 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 the game, like he's gonna think about it from a different mindset rather than and then me on the striking side, and and we we combine it both. And then we we, all, we also venture out on our different ways as too, and we bring it back together. So, I mean, I've been preparing for this type of matchup. I'm excited for it, but, you know, I still got to stop it. <laughs>